there hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me Fujit hello so today I want to talk about the FV4202 now it's a tier 10 medium tank sits on the British line and it's a tech tree tank and the thing is a lot of people especially the newer kind of players really struggle in this tank and it's not surprising I mean I, I have this down as what's called a, what I call a finesse tank in other words, you need to have a little bit of skill to play this one. It's a tricky tank. It's not an easy tank. Now, I am not a truly fantastic player. I'm by no stretch of the imagination a super duper unicorn or anything like that. I'm pretty average. And I have a few things that are sort of going against me. One, I'm like 50 years old. Two, I don't have the best ping. I mean, my ping when I play on the EU server is constantly around 130 to 150 and being 50 I don't have the reflexes that I once had however that doesn't prevent me from still rolling out in, in tanks such as this and having fun but there's a th couple of things you need to sort of understand about the FV now a lot of people struggle because they want to use hash all the time you can't use Hesh all the time. Hesh is a tricky ammunition to play with, to be honest with you. I mean, if you get it right, then boy, you really have a good time. If you get it wrong, then you get really bad low rolls, tantamount to HE. The other thing about the FV is that it has got great mobility, but it also has pretty pants armor, let's be honest. It looks like it should be pretty solid, but really it isn't. Don't get me wrong, you will get some bounces off it. It is trolly. But what's it got going for it? Wow, it's got a decent gun. It's got a decent turn of ability. The gun is pretty accurate. It's got a very good reload time. And if you are lucky enough to understand how Hesh works, then you'll get some pretty decent damage out of this thing. I mean, you're looking at 450 I end Alpha with the Hesh. The APCR, however, is equally as good, although I fluffed this shot, I tried to get the cheek of the T95, just didn't happen. Now, I've not set the world on fire here. I've still got all my hit points, I've been involved in the battle. And the thing about this tank is, you can't really stick it on the front line. Not really. I mean, some try and some go to the garage. Super duper unicums can because they have the reflexes and the ability to to do such things i'm not one of those players i'm an average player and if you are like me an average player then you need to give this tank a little bit of tlc and a little bit of nurturing with the tlc and nurturing you will have fun in it you really will i mean if you can get it to work for you without you know being in a rush to sort of engage anything and doing stupid trades you will get some decent damage out of the thing. I mean, look at that, I, mean, I just got smacked by the FV. But now the FV's in a world of pain and we should hopefully be able to take him out. And we do. Now I've only done 2.8K. Again, I'm not setting the world on fire, but I'm happy with that game. That game puts a smile on my face. We won, I was involved, I get a second class. I was pretty active, I rotated around the map nicely. I made some of my shots count generally in a tricky tank i absolutely enjoyed that i had fun wasn't the top damage wasn't expected to be so now moving to another game this is yamata harbor now a lot of people would go to where the sea cap is i'm not going to do that i'm going to go to this area because i want to see if i can get some spots now i've got the mobility to get up here and hopefully get the spots before they do anything and i can spot an amx load the hash get his side knock out 400 now i need to get out of dodge because i can see there's a lot of tanks around i always like this little spot on yamata harbor because you do get to see a good part of the map now i'm going to move away from that area because the tvp's there he's going to want to do something eventually stupidly this is where the hash doesn't work get 45 because i hit his tracks that was my fault that is what happens when you incorrectly use hash, and that won't be the first time or the last time you're gonna see me incorrectly use hash in this game. Now, that was a better shot, APCR, get him into the 215, into the 121B, 
happy with that. He's now going to sort of push his way around. I would like to use Heshier, but I'm worried about that container. That's why I don't do it. The TVP is sort of overcommitted. Again, I can't use Hesh because the container, that destructible piece of the landscape, is just going to swallow my round and absorb it. Okay, my shots here are a little bit. That's not too bad. It's a low roll, but it hit the the part of the turret that's going to absorb any type of heat or hash round. My shots now. You know, I, I, I've got no shots, so I'm, I'm going to move the two. The one two one B is now gone. That allows me to move to a different position. You can see the ISA. He's on a hill. Again, no point loading the hash because he's got spaced armor. It'll be absorbed. I'm now in a pretty nice spot. I can use the gun depression. I can use the terrain around me to keep me covered. I'm saving my hit points for when I need them. I'm getting to put some nice shots in over there. We should be able to finish the CVP. No, I don't. 400 roll. Quite happy with that though. Unfortunately, I would love to be able to smack my hash into the MEMX, but I can't. So I'll, I'll, I'll take some account on the Emil too. TVP, well, he's now realistically a one shot. So hopefully I can get a shot into him, finish him off, maybe. No, but somebody else does because I had APCR loaded. Now I'm going to try and work my way around to this IS-8. This is by no means a winning game at this moment in time. So we've got to be careful. We've lost three tanks, they've lost two. Hit point wise, I think we have more hit points on the table than they do. I mean, the IS-8 is a one shot in fairness. I can afford to take a shot from him and I do take him out. Now, I don't know where the one TD is, so I'm thinking maybe he's over in their top spawn, and then eventually they come up on the mini-map, they're absolutely in our spawn, so I need to sort of change direction. There we go, two TDs and a heavy. I need to turn around and rotate back towards our spawn. Uh, to be honest with you, credit where credit is due here, the Yo in, in my team has a fantastic game. He he really does. He's he's active, he's in there, he's making his shots count, and he's doing good damage. So I don't really want to steal his kill. I don't think he's in trouble with the E4, um, to be honest with you. No, he's not, but then again the IS7 takes him out. We've just got a Jaegeru to deal with. And as you can see with the FV, it's it's about mobility. It's about as I said, taking care, nurturing it, being not overly aggressive in the tank. Use the terrain, use the parameters of its haul down capability, although it has got a pretty thinnish turret. Use the gun depression, but more importantly, use that mobility. Unfortunately, I had the wrong ammunition loaded. This is where Hesh can come back and bite you. So I now load APCR, which again is the wrong ammunition, because Hesh goes straight through the side of a Jaegeru. As you will see now, you know, I could have got a 450 roll out the other one. He's going to hit me. He's not going to take me down. The the Yo is doing well. Again, I aim too low with the Hesh. That was another bad shell selection. But we win the game. And again, I do 4.2k damage. I haven't bounced anything get some good um, assistance damage. I'm happy with that game. You know, again, not setting the world on fire, not doing massive things, you're not getting, you know, those huge golden M's and stuff like that. But, 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 for a tricky tank, I am incredibly happy with that game. And as you see there, the M6GO has a fantastic game, really does well. So my advice is when you're looking at the FV4202 guys, be mindful that this is not a YOLO wagon. This is, you know, this is like the Leo 1 on the British line. Good gun. It can get a few bounces, but, but it doesn't really have much armor. You need to be very careful with it. Don't stick it out in the open. Certainly don't stick it on a ridge line on the top of the ridge. Use the gun. Use the ability to use the gun depression. Get yourself in a position to use that hash. And believe me, you will have fun in this tank over time. But it, that's the thing, it does take time. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the FV4202. A fantastic tank, don't get me wrong, but a tricky one at that. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there.
have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that really is what it's all about having fun and being happy